Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaizo Redux in which we are playing as everyone's favorite Feng Zhang government. But we need to talk about the bastion in the north. As the year 1936 dawns, Feng John stands in the northeast as the final bastion of China's Republican dream. As with many things in China, however, the abstractions of this dream hide complex and often inconvenient truths. The Feng Zhang government of the Republic of China, contesting the Qing imperial authorities' claims to legitimacy, maintains democracy only as a thin veneer covering what has always been and perhaps will always be an authoritarian state our favorite. The assembly in Shenyang is widely regarded to be corrupt, power divided between autocratic generals, unscrupulous rail railway barons, and pan-Asianist ideologues with questionable motivations amid it all stands Grand Marshal Zheng Zulim. His ambitions great, but limited by the stock realities of Qing strength and Japanese power for now forced to walk a political tightrope between the two and above the machinations of his own divided government. The status quo cannot last forever, and if the right moment to strike south is not chosen soon, it may never come at all. The staggering cost of the wars of the south and the severance of economic ties left Feng Xiang reeling, and whilst past years have been spent rebuilding, there's still much left to do. Likewise, the army has suffered from neglect and must be reorganized. The Japanese, their influence growing by the day, present both a dire threat and an opportunity. The waters ahead are treacherous, and it will take a truly great helmsman to steer the ship of state, not only to survival, but also towards the reclamation of all of China. Briefings are available on uh, our country's special mechanics, as its relationship with the Japanese and internal politics. Special mechanics? Um, let's see. We need to balance the various factions. So if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Because I've already heard something like this before, so. Another crucial point is the Concordia Association. Uh, so da -da -da -da. As their influence grows, it will lead to increased bonuses to production and the cost of PP and autonomy. The Japanese. If you want to read about the Japanese, please go right ahead. Politics. Cool. And there's four things. The Recovery League, the Zane Clique, the Communications Clique, and the Concordia Association. So, onward. So, with that being said, we'll read about the focus, but because this is Kaiser Redux, I think I've played as Manchuria. No, maybe not Manchuria. Oh, actually, wait. Do you give you guides for all nations? Maybe that's not in the game yet. But, uh, so I think I've dis... I think i played as the Feng Shun government in Kaiser Reich, but in Redux, there's really one other path you can take. So we'll play as this nation. And to get the Concordia Association in power, and then go down the right side of the main tree, have Zheng try to put his son in charge and trigger Yang Yuting's coup like in base Kaiserreich. Then you'll get some events about the monarchist sympathies rising. Let them rise unopposed and they will finish the coup. So we probably want to try to get that route. Go down the right side of the main tree. So, a father to the people. Eliminate internal dissent. Zheng Zuling. Zheng Zulin. So we're doing the preservation of the Xinai Revolution. Ironically, Feng Xiang is the sole national government upholding the order established by the Xinai Revolution in 1911, which called for the overthrow of the Qing and the establishment of a republic. Although its republican commitments are questionable and southern reclamation is clearly unrealistic, the government has loudly advocated both goals as a foster democratic legitimacy. Or domestic legitimacy. Uh, what is this? Fu Guo Qiang Bing. Why not? Translating roughly to enrich a country, strengthen the army. This proverb dates back to the ancient legalist philosophers, but has been used more recently to inspire reforms in both Guangzhou-era China and Meiji-era Japan. Now it is applied again in Feng Shan, as the government seeks to modernize and eventually strike south against the resurgent Zili clique, and from there establish control over all of China. Mr. Handsome there. Oh, boy. Whew. Always got a swoon for Mosley. Always. Oh, we have, oh, crap. I forgot about the army reform stuff. And the Geshu Council as well. Heinous assassination in Shenyang on his way to the government offices. A member of the communications clique was gunned down in public by what appears to be a Qing loyalist, recruited among, from among the northeast Manchu's population. The Qing imperial authority has been known to recruit spies and assassins before, but some rumors suggest that this assassin was instead hired by members of the Concordia Association, locked in conflict with the communications clique railway and telegraph barons for control of the country's infrastructure. A terrible loss. An opportunity rises. In the years since uh, uh, Feng Shan's army retreat beyond the Great Wall, a watch has been kept on the south. The natural checkpoint or choke point created by the Shanghai Pass has always made it hard for the Zili armies to get in, but equally difficult for our own to get out. Any effort to reclaim China has always been dependent upon a moment of sudden weakness. Such a moment now seems set to arrive as simmering anti-German sentiment has erupted into violence in the League of Eight Provinces, and the governor of Anhui has broken away from Nanjing, hoping to leverage the League and the central government against one another for his own game. Unfortunately, we're not ready yet to begin our long-awaited campaign. There are outstanding issues in the Northeast to be settled, and it's not clear exactly what will become of the situation in the League. You mustn't watch and wait for the right opportunity. Let's choose wisely. Cool. Everyone's dying. 
5th Anglo-Afghani War? Very nice. Rumors inside originals of the war. Although no plan has been made public or even exist in anything approaching a final form, rumors have already begun to spread that the Feng Shang army is preparing to march south and conquer Beijing within the next month. The scattered news coming in from the south have inspired a potent mix of excitement and concern, and confrontations have already broken out in tea rooms, bars, and other public places between ardent nationals and originals donged by party members. A dung by party. It ain't a political party in any real sense, but a more of a nickname applied to detractors to espousing doubts about Zhang Zulin's mission to arena the country. A significant number of locals, officials, local officials, and bureaucrats, including school teachers, share this kind of skepticism and have begun organizing protests to criticizing what they view as a costly and unnecessary war. <clears throat> Naturally, the government will not refute the rumors as that might free up Beijing's hand and intervene in the Li crisis, but suppress regional sentiments. For many years, Zhang Zulin's primary political slogan was the Northeast for the Northeast, but when his ambitions turned towards Beijing, this regionalist, uh, sentiment or message had to be set aside ever since. It has proven a thorn to the Grand Marshal's side, and many so espouse these old sentiments. The time has come to put the matter to rest once and for all. Now, we're not touching this until it has to go away, because I don't want to lose stability, because that hurts your peepee. -pee. Oh, well, sucks to be them. And let's see, Regional Summit, the Gang of Three. Oh, look at that. We have Mansetsu Province, or Influence, Influence. Oh, well, I guess we have... Oh, that's not good. Uh, the Kwantung Army. We have Investment Dearth. We have unscrupulous government, governance, and backwards industry. The Gang of Three. As a loose coalition of fallen generals, governors, bureaucrats, and politicians exiled from the South by the collapse of the Bai Yang government, the Recovery League is widely acknowledged to be susceptible to corruption. However, recent discoveries of, by police have turned up something unusually troubling. It seems that a group of Recovery League politicians were made mayors of townships in Jilin owing to their experience with governing in the South, had in fact never been mayors anywhere or, or at all. Instead, they killed and replaced their namesakes and through a complicated plot of deceit fooled the authorities while eliminating any who might contradict them. The web of lies, corruption, and, and murder necessary to sustain this falsehood stretches across the whole of the province, and the damage dealt to the government's legitimacy is not inconsiderable. Disgusting. Road to reclamation. Promote national rent dentism. That's kind of cool. Uh, ease of conscription. Army reform. Well, we'll see what happens. We don't have enough divisions to actually send all any... Oh, never mind. We do. We can send volunteers. Um, no one likes us here, so I don't really want to get involved, to be honest. I mean, you guys, we kind of like you, but... Yeah. If we're going to send anybody, it's going to be the divisions that actually have artillery, so you. And... There you go. Is it you we slightly like? No, it's you. It's fine. I just want army XP. We need the army XP really badly, so... <sighs> Very good. Suppress regional sentiments. And richer countries strengthen the army. After the decades of de decline and destitution, the necessity of progress and development has never been more glaring, however. While we cannot afford to stagnate, change comes with its own risk. Namely, mismanagement and public discontent. The task falls with the government to answer the cost to enrich a country and strengthen the army, but we must prioritize one or the other. Country? Oh, I remember this one. Uh, regional take action. Shouting Dong Bai Vai Le Dong Beiren, or the Northeast for the Northeastern people. Protesters have gathered near the Grand Marshal's Palace and Abin's Sophia Square, and also Jilin Medical College demanding an end of war preparations. Their numbers are not great enough to represent serious problems, and police have already begun dispatching to maintain order, but this is only part of an ongoing campaign which threatens to undermine public confidence in the regime. If the whole of the Northeast cannot be united behind the Great Marshal's dream to reunite all of China, then how can it ever be realized? Unfortunate. Uh, development of provinces. So, I, last time I played this in Kaiser Reich, I think, I actually went with the economy. Um, state of the economy, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Perhaps the army is more important? What about the state of the army, which is not very good, but it is what it is. So, I think I went country last time, which I thought was really good. Like, we got a lot of bonuses here, which I love, 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 love. But, let's go with the army this time. We're down the northeast. Bonus political power 80. You get more war support. The Quantum Army Protocol. It's not too bad. Rearm the Northeast would not be too bad either. Because you get 50 political power and a military factory. That's pretty nice. Open up the propaganda front. However. However, ever, ever, ever. Um, I do. Is there another research slot here? Because I want another research slot. As fast as possible. Intensive collaboration. Computing. Yes, there is. So we want to do that. So we're not going to break up them yet. We'll develop the nine provinces next, maybe? The nine provinces of Manchuria is split from the regional three. Already contain over 30% of China's railroads and feature relatively a widespread heavy industry. But if Feng Shan is moving into the future with these have to be expanded upon and improved. Ideally, this would be achieved solely by the Chinese people, but reality dictates that the Japanese will lead much of the path forward. The Concordia Association nominates a new economic minister. If you want to hear about this, please go ahead. Um, you lose political power. 
We'll do that one, because why well, not? let's go ahead and do an offer from the Kenpai Tai. The Kenpai Tai, the Japanese Army's extrajudicial police force, has taken note of a regional's problem and come forward with a partial solution. With a wide network of informants, they claim to have information on a number of figures underpinning the regional's movement, information that they volunteered in response. We must provide intelligence on several anti-Japanese agitators and insurgents whom, so far, have slipped through their fingers. Not at least due to our, our own interference. So far, it's been convenient for us to keep in contact with these nationals, pending cases where we need to push back against Japanese influence. Is this one of our cases, or should we take the deal and offer these people up on a silver platter? Take the deal. Well, last time in Kaiserreich, I think it took no thank you, but we'll take the deal. Part of the deal. Uh, we're developing the nine provinces, which I read before, I believe. Yeah. And then this one. Silence well, targeted subversives. The regionalist movement has never been organized, but has received support from local gentry, school teachers, and government bureaucrats. Some of these figures have become increasingly prominent, and by silencing them, we may cut the head off from the regional snake. Some can be bribed, and others can be threatened or fired, to say nothing of other persuasive methods. Mantetsu bribes. A pair of Concordia Association members are recently caught attempting to bribe recovery league politicians, and while this activity has long, been long been suspected, <clears throat> this is the first time it's been caught in the open. Although members of the other parties have motioned to remove the offending members, the Japanese consul has already delivered a message strongly advising that no action be taken against the members of the Concordia Association. The Grand Marshal could choose to do so regardless, but not without risking Japanese wrath. Uh, remove them anyways. Eh, they don't have that much influence yet. Regional take action. Protesters gathered again in several prominent locations in northeastern cities. Their numbers were not so great to present serious problems, but that did not stop the police from cracking down hard, wading into the masses with clubs and rifle butts, and scattering fleeing protesters into crowded side streets. Angered by the violence, some Dongbai party members have already vowed to return in even greater numbers, but hope that this quick and decisive response will deter all but the movement's hardliners, making them all easier to round up in silence. More concerning is the talks uh, among members of the local trade associations, changes, or chambers of commerce, and town assemblies of attacked boycott, unlike some of the young students. These older men remember the hard times late last decade when war expenditures outgrew the northeastern economy and sent it into economic freefall. So we want to get rid of this national spear, because it's really bad. So we'll go justify mass arrests. So long as the regionalist movement remains peaceful, we lack the institutional and republic support to crush it decisively by dispatching agents disguised as protesters. We can push the movement towards violent means, causing them their, su their public support, and then justify mass arrests. Mantetsu's influence. Mantetsu's economic influence spreads across the country and through the assembly, while the government is for now committed to privately resisting their efforts soon to be growing weaker by the day. A necessary evil? Oh boy. They keep sucking on our uh, civvies, so that's not very good. Oh my goodness. We actually lose political power now. I like the more construction speed, though. That's pretty nice. And you can tie down here. Ooh. What do you mean falls in nationalism? Mr. Handsome. But, yeah. We're down here, too. We're helping him out. I just want army XP. That's literally why we're here. Uh, we want to build more. Please. 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 Got some basic machine tools. Very nice. We're going to go with some dispersed industry, too. That'd be very, very good. Are we getting attacked by Germans or German East Asians? German East Asians. All right. Hey, we got five army XP. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. But, of course, it could be a little better as well. Alright, so the infantry divisions, just go here. There you go. Train if you need to, that'd be good. Alright, not bad. Go and do that for now, it's fine for now. I don't want to deal with it. Communication, click nominates as new economic minister. If you want to do that, please go right ahead. Why is it taking so long here? Point Lee. Communications, click. Where are we for the balance type of thing? Um, communications, click. Yeah, definitely do that one. Nice. Zheng Zhu Lin. Zheng Zhu Liang. So what does this one really mean? Like, get, th get them in power. Go down the right side of their, their main tree. And have Zhang. Zhang. Cool. Because we're Zhang right now. But he's Zhang as well. Which one is which? Ugh. So 36% is uh, the recovery league. So it's not Zheng Zhu Lin. It's probably Zhang Zhu Ling. Right? 20% for Concordia Association. Yeah. No, it's Ruan Zendu. What? what? Zing. Zing Cleek. Oh, yeah, whatever. We'll figure that out by the end of the next episode. Or the end of this episode, hopefully. So, after that one, up in the propaganda front, begins the warpath with the, with the war with the Qing Imperial Authority. It'll be kind of fun immediately. But, Yamato Hotel licenses. One of uh, Matetsu's most successful ventures in Manchuria is its Yamato Hotel franchise, which serves the countless Japanese businessmen who make their way to and from the home islands every day. Despite the unwelcome influence they bear, their skills and capital are crucial. We must decide their future. A little ahead of time. Um, superior firepower, land doctrine for Grand Battle Plan. What about the Grand Battle Plan? I, I, I've been liking Grand Battle Plan quite a bit, honestly, now. 
Like, I kind of enjoy Grand Battleton quite a bit, so. What happened to our divisions? Um, do we have any ships? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna train them until they die. There you go. It's fine. I just want that army XP. And then Mantetsu Research Wing. We, want, we need that extra research slot as fast as possible, so. So, yeah, with this one. Go down the right side of the main tree. Yang Yuting's coup. Because we're right. Huh. Ease of conscription? I don't want ease of conscription, man. I like how much manpower we have currently. God dang it. We need so much command power for that. Mantetsu Research Wing. Mantetsu's research wing, known as Mantetsu Chosabu, serves as the centerpiece of Japan's colonial program and pursues a wide variety of scientific goals. Its massive funding and talent pool could be a great use to us in our own efforts. If you want to this, please go ahead. Point Zhang. Zulang? Sure. Uh, sent aid to Sichuan. The province of Sichuan still struggles with a massive famine. Now the representatives have gone to come to us and all people are afraid. Requesting famine relief, of course. Mass support and famine relief and efforts in the province we could greatly bolster our legitimacy and convince them that we, not the foul trades of Beijing, are the true rulers of China. Pair large shipment, that's fine. Ancient provocateurs in action. Just as planned, our well placed agents have successfully pushed some of the out regionalist movement towards violence. Already increasingly violent protests have caused damage to public property, and reactions have been negative. And it may only be a matter of time before we have the justification we do need. Nice. You're gonna need that research wing, man. Uh, get up here, too. Ooh, someone got encircled, didn't they? There you go. They died. Huh. We lose civility though. The Hobbin revolts. Or rides, actually. A protest rapidly escalated an all out riot last night as protesters clashed with police in downtown Hobbin. There have been 15 recorded deaths, with unknown numbers of wounded on both sides, numbers possibly stretching into the low hundreds, a particular concern. As the Hobbin Central Station, which saw its front windows shattered and its roof in flames, damage to the station and several pieces of rolling stock have delayed travel along connecting rail lines, and the bureaucrats of Mantetsu have already registered their outrage. Cleaning up this mess may take some time, but at least we now have a clear justification for action against the regionalist movement. Good? And bad, but mostly good. It's not enough civvies, man. Precision 1 grain shipments ready. At last, shipments of grain intended for Precision 1 are almost ready to be sent. Shipping them will be uh, circulatous, owing to the large amounts of the hostile arms between us and Precision 1 proper, but we doubt even the zealot are heartless enough to stop grain bound for the sufferings of a famine. Proof of, alert of, alert of our legitimacy. Mass arrests begin. With the appropriate justification now in place, our dutiful police officers, with support from local militia and the Fang Shan Army, have begun rounding up suspected prisoners, or protesters. The majority will eventually be sent home, but not necessarily in one piece. Hopefully, their imprisonment will serve as a great message to the other protesters and any sympathizers that the government will no longer tolerate their subversion. Good riddance. Nice. Rise of the VOD. Also, I did not. I set this up so that. Uh, well, I didn't set this up at all. Like. This is all random, so. Uh, while we hope that the Zealot do not dare intercept our famine aid, Japanese agents have informed us that they have information suggesting the chairs would do just that. The Japanese have provided an alternative proposal. Fly their own flag on our shipments. They would, the Zealot would never dare provoke an international incident by attacking the Japanese ships. Although this would paint us as puppets of Tokyo in the eyes of those watching those ships. You might have a point. Ignore them. Let's do that one, because I chose the other one last time. If we were to, to attack, we could kill this division off really badly, so honestly, we get more army XP. Nice. There you go. Get back here now. Just in case. Or not. Oh, the regional set, uh, movement set, uh, su suppressed. The Dong Bai Party and the regional movement in general has been suppressed at last. While it's not an end to regional sentiment in the Northeast, it may not last. It may last for decades to come. But for now, it seems to be a consideration as we turn our attention southwards. Progress. If you want to about Mao Mao, please go right ahead. Oh my god, not having any war support really sucks. Or having very little really sucks. Cool. Yamato Hotel Licenses, huh? Yamato Hotel Line has been a long staple of the 
long been a staple of the South Manchuria Railway Zone. The concession zone exceeded, ceded first to the Imperial Russia and then to the Jap Japanese after 1906, and then expanded following the 21 demands of the 1915 through a rather loose interpretation of its provisions to include all of the Southern Manchuria, all the same. While treaty rights permit Japanese to reside and engage in business and manufacture of any kind, construction still theoretically requires approval from local governor and, if necessary, the Grand Marshal himself. Mantetsu aims to build a series of new uh, series of hotels, all of which will inevitably become hubs for further Japanese activity. And while construction can never be stopped without angering the Japanese government, li limits might be imposed to forestall Japanese influence in certain areas, unfortunately. As much as they may stand as physical edifices of Japan's strength, hotels are frequented by the Japanese elite and many Mantetsu employees, making them crucial for a rapid development we desire. Limit construction? Not quite. We are just, just, just a bunch of lapdogs here. Organizer, infantry leader. Well, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, this, this group's probably going to lose. The Shandong clique is probably going to win. Nominate a new foreign minister? Sure. Oh, I get more PP every day? How much PP do we get every day, anyways? 0.46 really sucks. So, after this one, let's come over here. Open the propaganda front. Um, Quantum Army Protocol. Bonus PP. Yeah, I'll do something here earlier on. This is this is pretty strong. I like the war sport. That helps out. The Asia Express runs from Darien to Habim. For the first time, Mentezu's Asia Express streamlined train will be running from the tip of Darien to the northern city of Habim, an astonishing 130 kilometers an hour, putting it among the fastest trains in the world. The journey took a mere 21 hours and 30 minutes. The locomotive wonder bears cars outfitted with the heat, air conditioning, and luxurious lounges even for third-class customers, as well as its very own signature cocktail served at the bar. While Mentezu's unimigated... Im uh, un unmitigated uh, success uh, has to give some reason to cheer and may uh, strike envy in Beijing. Uh, this can only be meant to advancements with growing concern. A modern marvel. In the years of economic hardship following the last Zaifeng War, the military academy of the three eastern provinces began to stagnate. By rebounding or the old academy under a new name and updating its curriculum, it can again become a point of pride. Our factories rumble with activity churning out weapons, supplies, and everyday concessions and conveniences. At an astounding rate, none of this would be possible without Japan, but whispers of discontent abound. Who are we fighting for, China or Japan? Is the Republic really being strengthened or instead brought to its knees by foreign exploitation? Is it truly necessary? How much further can this go? Probably quite a bit farther. Yeah, the construction speed you get is not really worth the losses that you get in independence and stuff, so. Maybe we should slow down just a wee bit. We'll see. Man, we're using god awful guns, aren't we? Mustafa Kamal shot. Who would do that? Terrorists would. Man, these guys are losing hard. But we do have the whole 11 army XP. Keep pulling out for now. You're doing a great job, guys. A great job. Any more guns? Or Taylor's looking pretty good, though. Mantetsu Chosabu. Did I do this one? Yeah. Yeah. The South Manchuria Railway Company's research wing, colloquially known as Mantetsu Chosabu, has grown over the years from a mere corporate R&D department into the heart of Japan's colonial research program with a vision dedicated to everything from agriculture science to intelligence gathering. The sheer scale of Mantetsu Chosabu and its ambitions has led to the opening of offices in Berlin, Vancouver, New York to attract foreign talent and wide recruitment from Japan's foremost universities. There's also a surprisingly liberal and open-minded intellectual community, which sometimes goes places... Uh, scientific inquiry before nationalistic concerns. This appears to be one of the instances. As the government has been approached by a Chosobu representative offering future assistance in one of the several fields, it should be known that the Kwantung Army, Garrison, and Darien were strongly opposed to this arrangement. Radar? Construction? Production? I don't know uh, what Japan does. Is even intelligence agency upgrade already completed by Chan? Probably not. Efficiency? I probably want construction. More recovery leagues? Not bad either. Modernized curriculum is not bad either. Quantum protocol. Coup d'état in Algiers. Let's see. So they're thirty percent. That's just they're the, they're number one. So um, I don't want to give them too much influence yet, but they're still going to get quite a bit. Let's go with rearm the northeast. The Shenyang Arsenal was. <clears throat> Once China's greatest military industrial enterprise, but the past decades have seen it eclipsed by the combined production of other Chinese arsenals, such as those at Hanyang, Baoding, and Xiangnan. We must reclaim our place at the top and doing so reduce our reliance on Japanese military aid. We can begin by stamping out corruption and increasing production quotas. Oh, you're about to get encircled, son. If we're going to lose, just make sure we don't lose the division. 
escape, escape if you can. Oh, cool. A uh, point woo? Sure. What I'm hoping for is this lowers the Concordia Association's uh, dominance, but still, whatever. Go to Wuji. Wuji, 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 Wuji. Okay, not bad. Now, you guys are probably going to explode and kill each other off, too, probably, so. Which is fine with me. Kill, please kill each other off. Heck, we might just want to go to war with these guys as fast as possible. We don't have the guns for it, but. Collapse of the UBD is fine because we got we just instantly got ten more entrenchment. Yay! There you go. We hate you less. Well, sort of not, but whatever. Give them a whole division. Wait, uh, yeah, that's what we want to We did play as the left. Came to you back in the f day. Back, 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 back in the day, but. Oh. Well, we'll see what happens. The state of the officer corps. You have a bunch of political PP discovery. Although neither uh, made any public announcement. Manchester's research wing has communicated that the Quantum Army discovered its farm collaboration with the government, a claim backed up by our findings from our intelligence services. General Kikechi Ude, who himself is said to have stormed into the office of the Manchester president, Yosuke Matsuoka, and delivered a thunderous verbal barrage regarding the necessity to keep Feng Shang dependent upon Japanese aid. The Quantum Army's ability to punish Manchester is ultimately limited, as the powerful company is practically autonomous, but there's little doubt that the army will go out of its way to make things difficult for everyone involved, unfortunately. This will certainly be the end of the specific collaboration project with Mantetsu. Unfortunate. Oh, Zhu Dei, huh? Cool. State of the Officer Corps. Feng Shun's Officer Corps is an unusual mix of young Chinese educated the Rikugun Shikan Gakko in Japan, older Chinese who served in the Civil Wars, and Japanese officers part of the military mission to Feng Shun. Oh, you know, by common loyalties to individuals more than any spe special dedication to the state, of course. Uh, Japanese officers in particular are known to prize any station in the Northeast. The devalued currency allowing them to live free, live lives of relative luxury and hire servants for the most menial tasks, earning them the enmity of not only their fellows, but also the local population. Now, with the founding of the Shenyang National Academy, these officers have taken the opportunity to mock the Academy's current accommodations, which are decades old and in disrepair. While a newer modern building rises nearby, the pitiful state of the Academy at present leaves the government open to criticism. As it probably would, yeah. Well, God dang, can we promote anybody yet? Please, please, please. I want to wait for that one. I'm not sure which way we really want to go with that, so. Encryption codes leaked. Although our encryption is by no means advanced, as that is in the West, or even Japan, it nonetheless goes a long way to ensuring that the vital information doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Unfortunately, Foreign Minister Wu seems to have mislaid his copy of the code book while staying in his palace hotel in Shanghai. Subsequently, much of our intelligence network and all of our encrypted communications are now compromised, and while a new system could be implemented in short order enough in some countries, backward governance and the Northeast sheer size mean that doing so could take over two months. If we're lucky, the code book will go and discover it for that span of time, but it seems unlikely such as fate. We move from office. Woo. Yeah. Recovery. I don't want to lower the recovery league just yet. Such as fate. Uh, so lose three percent. Replace them. Screw it. Why not? So now we need someone here too. Hmm. Naval doctrine. Prescription crisis. 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 His legacy. Eliminate our investment dearth. It's not bad. What is it? What is our investment dearth? Oh, it's not honestly that bad. Hong Zui attacks in the Helio Jiang. Uh, Hong, Z Hong Zui. Translating literally to the red be beards, are a group of bandits and robbers that have plagued the Northeast. With the Grand Marshal's pacification and centralization campaign after the last war reduced their numbers, there's been attacks in the years since. Now, several farmsteads in South Helio Jiang were set alight, oh boy, and their occupants robbed the valuables. Some have suggested that an expedition should be mounted to crush the bandits at their base of operations, but others say that such a mission is beneath the central government and is worth a little, a little no time. Uh, we definitely gotta hunt them, but we'll do an expedition first. Anything here we really want? Um, it's not bad. Infrastructure would be pretty good too. Nothing extremely necessary there, there though. Um, you have an introduction. It's not bad. That's pretty good. Army reform. 
restructure the flying core of the quantum army protocol? We could. Uh, modernized curriculum for more land auction. The modern Japanese curriculum, designed to counter Russian aggression on the plains of Manchuria, emphasizes morale factors and the tenacity of the will, stressing d training designed to develop the ability to recognize opportunities for decisive attack, enveloping open enemy flanks, encircling formations, and thus destroying numerically and technologically superior foes. Hello. Don't let them in. They're only militia, so you should be able to do pretty well. Point Lee? Sure, why not? Oh, we're about to get in circle here. God dang it. Actually, we should have in circle. There you go. Please don't circle us. Please don't circle us. If you do, just please just take the capital quickly. We're gonna need some trucks too, so. Nice. Come on, get in there faster than they can. Come on, come on. Oh, we couldn't get in there. But hey, we still oh, might not be able to win. Okay. Hongzhou Texans Xinyang. Despite efforts to counter them, uh, or contain them. The Hongs we have made have struck again, of course. This time in Jingong, raiding farmers and traders along its major roads. Local governors dispatched his garrison to guard against future incursions, but the rough terrain and the bandits' elusive nature suggest that they may strike, strike against us elsewhere else. Yeah, we'll go, we just gotta attack him now. Nice. Twenty nine army speed, not bad. We're gonna need way more army XP. We're trying to get more, but. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. The we and the Buddhists. Nice. Yeah, that one. That's pretty good to do. Another research slot, thank you. Or it's the same research slot, but just more of it. Cool. And then what? Well, let's get some more research done first. Actually, we can do oh the soy initiative. The Minchin truck. Oh, we can just do that one. Oh, we, we get the Minchin Automobile Company. Oh. Yeah, that's alright. Go check it. Minsheng. So we can just get that one research anyway, so there's no point doing that one then, I guess, right? Right? Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Get some planes. 37, get some Robo 2. What do we want? I want more political power and army XP. So let's do this one. Lessons from the Xifeng Wars. The last Zili Fengxian Wars of the Fengxian army fighting enemies whose weapons and technology far outclass their own. Though through fires of trial and blood, improvised weapons improve, improve, improvised weapons and unusual methods emerge to suit their new environment, allowing our soldiers to punch above their weight. Not a bad idea. Hello. Russian state, huh? Threns by Kalia. What the heck is this? <clears throat> Semyonov, local Bronikstrom versus Ivan Lavrov. Alright, good luck, guys. Probably gonna need it. Because we're beating up militia soldiers. Nice. Coming Hills fighters. Oh, come on. We could have beaten them faster than that. Dude, just take Kwang Zhu and you will win. Bro. Russia announces their ambitions. There you go. Kind of figured that would happen. I don't want to send anyone up here because it's just going to be so bad. Oh! America's exploded. Well, hate you less. And you're going to be on several different fronts. So, actually, I want to send some probably you guys. Cool. Oh, second American Civil War looking. Ah, oh, pretty normal. We've got the car, the feds, New England. Cool, not bad. Not bad. I want to go to early mobilization if we can, though. Or we go on Sean Iron and Steel. I'm going to about this, please go ahead. Report Chang, yes, please. Foundation is Jilin Film Association. Bringing together a staff from its photographic division, directors from Japan, and local talent and acting agent talent. Mentetsu has begun the process of establishing a film studio in Jilin, which claims it will demonstrate what China can achieve with modernity through the camera lens and a unique Chinese style. Privately, Mentetsu's presidents indicated that the studio will also be used to subtly spread anti Qing messages. But this has left some of that close advisors to the Grand Marshal wondering what else might be subtly inserted. The government could always instruct. Jilin's governor to deny Mantetsu permission to build, but the film association will likely just move south to Darien, where we have no influence over it at all, not on our soil. Modernity is our goal.
Point three a day. God dang it. The Japanese ambassador becomes High Commissioner in Shanghai. Following the outbreak of the Second American Civil War, the legation city is heavily relied on American protection and influence, filling no power vacuum. The legation councils have had to vote on a new High Commissioner to lead the mandate into the future, and it seems they've chosen the Japanese. The legation cities are now sundered, possibly forever, from the pro idea of a pro-Western open door to China, and as unknown to the cities, will even remain nominally neutral in the years to come. Asians for Asia. Honestly, getting up here will be really good. Division cap goes up and get 20% more construction speed. We've got to go that way. As much as I want to keep that political power, we have to go that way. Horse person. Substance abuser. As much as we love to abuse things. And people? Uh, 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 let's hold on for that idea. Um, yeah. No. Not quite yet. Su Bing Wang. Can you just go here? Can you actually win? Doesn't look like it. Wait, what? 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 Ho oh. has that happened in my campaign before? Okay. Wait, so they did they did the Mosley coup path. Like, I did not set that up at all. That was completely random. Holy cow. Austria do be looking kind of nice with Venice under them. But anyways, holy cow. But they have the flag, but why do they have Northern Ireland? Hmm. Hmm. Anyways. Quantum Protocol? They're good. Shenyang Arsenal would not be bad. 56 days. Concord Association does go down. I'll open up the propaganda front. Sometimes the most decisive battles are fought and won in the hearts and minds. We have fought a passive war of words with the Qing Imperial Authority ever since 1928. And now the time has come to begin new offensive and redouble our efforts. 10,000 years to the Republic. As my voice decides to crack. More and more and more. Come on, get in there so we can defend. Come on. Oh, come on, man. As long as we can win, that still be nice. Oh, they threw two, division, two divisions in there. But you guys are attacking as well. God, we are sucking. We're doing okay. We're sucking, but doing okay. Yeah. What are the things say? Uh, okay, now attacks in Liao Bai. Long as we have even started, <clears throat> have grown particularly bold, leading attacks into Liao Bai province and even venturing to the borders of Jilin before derailing a local train and robbing its occupants, including a number of Japanese citizens. The local authorities have apologized profusely for this embarrassment, and additional guards have been posted on nearby trains with the Japanese consulate. has already demanded compensation for our government for the property lost. Uh, allowing this to continue for any longer would be a national embarrassment. The third time's a charm. Hmm. Chilean Argentinian Civil War? That's probably one of the things I'm never going to do. Probably play in South America. In the early 30s, Zhang Zulin commissioned an American engineer to create China's first domestically produced automobile called Minchang, or People's Live Livelihood. While never mass produced with light, right modifications, these Harley trucks could be adapted to serve military purposes. We might as well get it done. Might as well at this point. Nice. Good job, guys. He's level 4 on attack. Not bad. Send the close to revolutionaries. That's fine. You can hold for now. Just hold for now. Get some more uh, organization first. That'd be good. Yeah. Open up the propaganda front. Begins the war path of the Qing Imperial Authority. As long as we don't have to go to war with them immediately, that's fine with us. Did you actually do love their elections? Denounce Qing monarchism, German imperialism. I'm going to this, but go ahead. Pure Rwan. Fine. What's a soy thingy? Oh, Japanese interest in Manchuria, huh? Well, if you want to put that, please go to head. Spanish Civil War, of course. I kind of want to wait to do that. I mean, for the path, it says we got to get Concordia's influence to win out. So we'll try the best we can there, but still. I'll attack if they attack, but... That's pretty much it. Are we ready for war? Probably not. No. 
Well, we'll do the best we can. We'll give it the good old Rambler try. Who actually did check out my channel at one point when I was here, so. Yeah, that was really cool. When Alex Rambler notices you. Oh! Um, hmm. Spend the Shen Yong Arsenal. Anything else on the left side here? Reorganize NTCs. More stability would be nice. Oh, we could always reorganize it. Ooh, but I like getting this just so that we get some more industry. Found the Northeast IDC. <clears throat> a Japanese recommendation, a proposal has been for, put forth to organize several influential businessmen and politicians into a body called the Northeastern Industrial Development Commission. That might guide Feng John's industrial development. That, sounds like, that sounds like a good idea. And getting a partial mobilization would also sound like a very, very good idea. You guys get some more organization first. Do we even have any planes? Yeah, I guess we do, huh? Actually, can we 14? J.B. Shama. Maximato. Fourteen, huh? I can't imagine they would have planes themselves, so... Maybe get some army exp air XP, too. Wouldn't be too bad. I guess we could try it. It's right here, too. Mod's holding out okay-ish. Not great, but okay-ish. Alright, not bad. Keep going. As you're getting attacked as well. Nice. Nice. Good amount of peepee. We're going to pass towards National Reclamation Ward. Promote National Dentism. Hold a conference in Shenyang as soon as possible with potential Chinese allies to discuss important matters and involvement in the Reclamation War. So, for this path, it says that get a conversation power into power, go down the right side of their, their main tree. Have Zhang try to put us in charge. Go down the right side of their main tree. Because this is just a kind of generic tree ish. Sort of generico. Unification, subjugation. Um, hmm. I forget which way it went. I think it went with the left path earlier. By subjugation, it sounds like fun. Yeah, Zhang Zulin. Yeah, there you go. That's probably where we have to go for that one. Towards Japan. Eh. We'll see what happens. Okay, another research slot, though. Ooh, that's nice. It's very nice, actually. For now, I'll get that political power, and we're going to go and grab this. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, do we need more steel? No, we're good. We need aluminum. Collaboration. Competing tech. A Wang... Yong Jiang's legacy, Manchuria's transformation from a backwards borderland into one of the China's most prosperous regions, owes itself to the work of Wang Zhong, or Yong Jiang, Zheng Zulin's late finance minister. Disgusted by the Grand Marshal's costly excursion south of the Great Wall in 1928, Wang resigned and died shortly thereafter. His left work unfinished. We must pick up where he left off. Nice. We need more guns, too. It's just so good to have so many research slots. And by so many, I mean four. Okay, hold. Wait, did you guys piece... Oh, you guys pieced out. That sucks. Bro. Bro. Hey, they qu we crushed them. After an extensive fun, the Hong Zui, or Hong Zhu, Hong Hu Zi, were tracked to the foot of a mountain, referred to the locals as Hushan, or Tiger Mountain. The bandits fought to the death, uh, resisting an assault by several thousand regulars for nearly three hours, steep in inclines, no paths, and hidden caverns, aiding their defense. A number of prisoners from the surrounding villages were liberated alongside a significant sum and valuables. Nice! That's to, to all bandits. Uh, sure, I guess. Do not string monarchism. The aggressive Qing Empire claims to draw strength from its past, but in truth, this only makes it weaker. We will bear the old ideas beneath the exorbitant weight of, of modernity. We can denounce them. Anti Japanese. Increase in Anti Japanese protest. Huh? Try it. Angered by Japan's increasing control of our country, uh, protests have broken down in Shenyang, Harbin, and Changchun. Police and military units are already on site, continuing the protest, but damage is already done. That sucks. Does anything do anything here? Oh, uh, we'll see. Let's go through our planner at the very least. Anything else we really care about this? Continue army reform, unfortunate. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Keep holding out. Keep holding out. We're doing 
doing okay there. Okay, but okay. Oh, we're doing some bombings. We're bombing something here. Not much, but we're bombing something. Um, it's not bad. Expand the mines. Dutch Revolution. Not bad. There you go. Why don't you go to war with them early? From a national identism. Despite a successful effort to suppress the Northeastern Regionalist movement, a certain amount of apathy remains among the general population. In order to drum up the full support necessary for a national reclamation, we must begin a wide reaching proposal or a propaganda campaign. Towards a national reclamation war? Uh, hold a conference. Oh, that's the, one, that's the one we hold a conference in. I'm not sure if we really want to do that one immediately. Japanese interests. Occupation of Tinjiang. The pro Japanese forces having gained control of legation cities, uh, or at least legation council. They are now beginning to uh, exert their influence. The legation council uh, has not only recognized us, but they have invited our troops into Tinjiang to secure the city from the threat of the hostile and illegitimate Chinese government. Though our troops can now enter the city, we effectively administer much of the city. Most of the profits of Tinjiang generate still go to Shanghai. Still, an enormous coup. In, in that case, it's not, it's not worth it. Excuse me, game. Thank you. Right, we become owner of it. Oh, that's pretty sweet. We'll probably lose it, honestly. Or maybe we don't have to. Actually, you're fine by yourself. You're gonna get the crap bean out of you. You're probably gonna, we're gonna lose divisions here, but Prince Kan In Koto Hito said to visit the northeast. The Japanese consulate in Shenyang has handed the government documents detailing the planned arrival of Prince Kanin Kotohito, great uncle to the reigning emperor, who will tour the Northeast later this year. He's been to Manchuria before and will almost certainly be in inspection as much as possible as a show for the public relations. He's known to take special interest in her plans to reclaim the rest of China. The exact date of his arrival has been withheld for security reasons in Japanese concerns are not unfounded. It's well known that there are extremist elements in Shenyang and throughout the region that we might wish that might wish the prince harm. Every effort should go of be made to ensure that he's both safe and satisfied during his visit. Preparations preparations must be made. Ooh. I like that one. Create Fortress Manchuria. The Yang Mountains to the south, the lesser uh, Kigan Mount Range to the west, and the Bohai Gulf to the east create a natural fortress around the Manchurian plain, leaving the Shan Hai Pass as the only easy point of entry. It's easy to fortify the north east when nature has already done so much of the work. Let me complete this. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not good. Moral indoctrination. Um, so I guess we'll start with that one. And yeah, we must start doing that one too. We get a core, even if we lose it, we, getting that as a core is really, really good. Um Moral indoctrination is for two. And we need at least a lot of guns and stockpile, which is gonna suck. Right, so that helps out quite a bit though. That's quite that's quite good. Oh, increase security in Shenyang. As rumors of a plot against Japan, Japanese princes lives to world, we must improve security in the capital. While the rest of his visit may be unpredictable, it's no secret that he will visit both the government and the Grand Marshal in Shenyang. We want to make sure it's okay here. Moral indoctrination. Sounds like something on the right side here. Hey, it's right here. Sweet. We can do this one immediately. Japanese training emphasizes the importance of the human factor in maintaining a continuous offensive, with a belief that spirit can, can triumph over steel. This requires serious moral indoctrination, and a bonus for land indoctrination, political power, uh, war support, not bad. Northeast Industrial Development Commission. At Japan's request, uh, with no, and with no particular reason to refuse, we have established a legal and fiscal framework establishing the creation of the Northeast Industrial Development Commission, serving to oversee and direct the development of Feng Chan's industry. Mostly through the allocation, uh, funds and leases, the commission now faces the question of its composition. The Concordia Association has proposed the inclusion of a series of extremely talented individuals with experience working for the Nissan and Mitsubishi Zaibatsu in Japan, who stress the need for an export-driven economy taking advantage of Feng Xiang's existing natural resources, while the Grand Marshal's generals insist upon the necessity of an army-first approach to development and are using their considerable influence to ensure the placement of military men in the commission. The Communications Committee recommends their own presence and advocates a mixed developmental approach, referencing their long experience with the business dealings across China as well as more recently here in the Northeast. Unfortunately, a compromise involving nearly all three parties is practically impossible because a clear vision is necessary for the task, and intercommission bickering would almost certainly render it functionally impotent. Additionally, although the commission's nature as an appointed body permits the presence of Japanese in its makeup, the public and much of the assembly will likely react negatively to their presence. At the same time, the Japanese will not appreciate exclusion. Get off the army first. 
Prioritize experts are very nice. But we already have a lot of influence from these guys. Um, again, those military factors would be really good. So, army must come first. We're probably going to suffer a price for that. And the Japanese are not going to like that. But, we can take a little bit of a hit. Because they're at 35% rate. Right? God dang it. That's already a whole bunch. Uh, we can do that one. I don't mind doing this one, maybe, actually. Shenyang Arsenal? Is it more soft attack? Yeah, I'll we'll probably do that one, honestly. <clears throat> keep defending, guys. Keep defending. You're doing a great job. Um, I really want to go to war, kind of, but we cannot. We literally have no cities left. God dang it. And they're hurting our people so much. I might just lower their influence with someone else. Communications click. Balance it out a little more, maybe. Uh, does this give us more concord? Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-three percent is not much, but we'll still have to do it anyways. New model army. Not a bad idea. You dumb. Our new officers corps are now well schooled in the most modern Japanese strategies and tactics available. Not all that remains is to begin the process of graduation, deployment, and integration with the regular troops. Now we're desperately trying to hold out. Oh, we're at 88, come on. 37. 1937. Radar, maybe? Well, it's October, but still. Oh, uh, yes. That's fine with us, yes. Oh my gosh, we don't care about the Belgrade back in the fourth. 3rd, 5th, 6th, 7th, Balkan War. There's going to be infinite Balkan Wars. It doesn't matter. When in doubt, please bomb them out. Uh, we're supporting a political faction for a while, not forever. <clears throat> Eight. Yeah, new model army. Again, the bonus for double bonus for land action would be very nice. Come on. Organizer, cavalry leader, infantry leader, mountaineer. Very good. Alright, what have you learned? Su Bing Wang? Yeah, we'll be soon done with the ground battle plan, which would be good as well. You actually probably can win there. Cool. How many guns are we out? Oh, we're not out that many. Uh, Ru Rong Huan gifts a sturdy northeastern pony. For reasons probably associated with his recent ministerial app uh, appointment, Lu Rong Huan has given the Grand Marshal a Splendimentarian pony named Pong, a rare breed supposedly capable of performing tricks and worth nearly a million yen. Exchanges of gifts, which might be interpreted as bribes in other countries, are a common sight of the northeast and across China, but Lu's deep pockets are known for producing all manner of expensive oddities. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Nice. Oh, get us too, which will be honestly probably pretty good to do for a while. So, join the Reich's Pact. Investigate the Junior Officer Corps. Oh, there we go. Nice. Reinforce Solidarity Discipline. Investigate the Junior Officer Corps. Uh, let's go and get that one done. New model army. Uh, while many idealistic younger officers openly agitate against the regressive Zili regime to the south as, as is appropriate, others also see Japan as an enemy. While their views may have some merit, we can allow these hot headed individuals to establish such an important Shenyang Tokyo relationship. Reinforce Soldierly Discipline. We cannot afford to have a slovenly soldiers on display when the Prince Kanyin Kotohito visits the troops, nor can we permit dangerous radicals to be present. Present, present Chinese modernity is not a modern country, but a recent efforts and a fresh coat of paint. It might appear to be. Civil engineering, Japanese electrical expertise. Mantetsu collaboration. Mantetsu, also known as the South Manchuria Railway Company, exerts an enormous amount of control over our economy, with numerous subsidiaries ranging from flower mills to hospitals. Its aid will unfortunately be essential to developing most aspects of our economy that require Japanese technical expertise. The Concordia Association gets very, very much more influential here, which is not good. Not good. Research. We might use tanks. Let's get those basic tanks going first. Oh, nice. Are those are British here? Hold, hold, hold. Oh, there goes Western Command Center. Makes sense. 
Keep learning. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So, uh, Eastern Siberian Federation that looks pretty nice. But I think we're going to end that episode here for now. Uh, the card's probably going to die. Let's see who's winning by the next episode. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll figure out what we're going to do with good old Feng Shun government. See if we can at least reunite part of China. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.